purpose is not bigger than your job. That brings us to the third point. There are multiple ways to see the world, and I will illustrate this. A lot of these lessons are also being taught by Simon Sinek, and you might know him from Apple. So that gives you a little bit more of a context. Now 800 meter. It could be. Hold links on. Richting Maastricht. Daarna hold links on. It could very well be that you, for example, uh, have had an uh, interaction. For example, you did some jogging, like Simon, Simon Sinek says. Like Simon Sinek said, that you did some jogging, you did a run, and then at the end you could get something for free. And he, in this case, you could get free bagels. Now 500 meter, out links on. And he said to his colleagues, out links on. Richting Maastricht. <laughs> he said to his colleagues, come get some free bagels. And then his colleague said, yeah. Look at the line, the line is too long. Then he says, free bagel. So again, stressing the bagel, and then the other the line is just too long. Sorry for that. So I, I will take this uh, illustration again and from the top. So either you see the, the free bagels, like Simon said, whatever it says, from Die Hard, the quote, <laughs> Simon says, Free bagels, and his colleague says, Look at the line, it's so long. So, there are two ways to look at things. One is looking at what you want to get, in this case, the free bagel or, or the, the candy or whatever. And the other thing is, what is obstructing you to get there, and that's the line. And both can have their virtues. So, Simon will, Simon Sinek of Apple will, of course focus on the bagel, eh? what you want and then getting there. So don't see the obstruction but just getting there and that will motivate you while the, while the obstruction can demotivate you. But the other way can also be beneficial as long as you don't let it demotivate you. And how is that? If you see the obstructions you see also what you need to take away to make the whole process a lot more efficient or even help you getting there. Because if the line would be unlimited, Simon would never reach his free bagel, of course. But if you see the obstructions, then you can also see a way through them or to bypass them. There's also a lesson that Simon uh, teaches us in an indirect way. He says you can play with the rules, you can even break the rules as long as, long as you're not obstructing other people to get to their goal. But when you're cutting the line, in this example, you will of course be an additional obstruction to the people behind you in the line. It might be very small, but you will be an additional obstruction. So this does not hold true uh, completely. Oftentimes by bypassing you will of course also halt some other people to get to the goal or make it harder for them. But hey, that's the lesson he tried to convey. Then there is another topic and that's very interesting.